Um, they have angles, and, and in your textbook, um, they put some angles in here. So from uh, here to here, this is an angle. All right. And uh, we call this angle B, and this is the point C, and then this is the point uh, A. So that's A, B, C. Uh, then they give us another angle here between these girls that go like this. And this point here is actually E, and this point here is F, and this point here is D. And then they give us another angle. This angle here is actually, um, this one is K. This angle here is L, or point, I should say angle, point L. And then this is M. And then lastly, we have one more angle that's on her other armpit. And this is going to be G. This is going to be J, and this is going to be H. And it looks a lot, lot better in the textbook. All right. Now, I really hope that you guys took the time to try and sketch this out and draw it. The reason I draw it is it really helps you kind of get, you got you to gotta have some spatial reasoning. And you got to kind of, it's very easy to look at a picture, but when you draw it out, it's not easy to draw it out that way. And just by drawing it out, it kind of helps your mind understand how the angles fit together and what, you, what you've got to do to make them work. I haven't even got to the problem itself though. The problem itself says the synchronized swimmers form angles in their bodies and then it says if the measure of angle uh, G H I is equal to 90 all right what is The measure of angle K L M G H I. Where is G H I? Is it G H J? Oh, it is G H J. I apologize. G H J. So G H J is this little bad boy right here. Let me let me highlight that in a different color. This is right here. This is G, this is H, and this is J. So we've got G, H, J. That's 90 degrees. It doesn't look like it the way Mr. Adams drew it, but it is 90 degrees according to them. Okay. It says, what is KLM? Now, the only thing that I didn't do is that KLM is like this, and this has two hash marks, and this has two hash marks. What does that mean? Yes. That they are congruent. Well, because they have two arcs, you would just simply say that this is 90 degrees. Man, I drew all I have for that. Seems like a lot of work. So just those two little arcs, just, just by knowing the, what those two little arcs mean, and let me, let me draw it a little better up here. Basically, in your textbook, it looks a lot better. Um, let me go on a new page. They had an angle like this, and it was kind of on an angle, and then another angle right next to it. And this had one, two arcs. This had one, two arcs. And so that means that these angles... are the same. Okay? Actually, they're congruent. Okay? Just because of those two arcs. 